That's my girl right here. Wow. You traitor. <laughs> Traitor, okay? Taking over this channel. Okay, so everyone, this is the tea. Um, everyone asks me, how did I know? How did I know Liverpool won if they won? The truth is, I don't know anything about football, guys. Yeah, we don't know anything. And I'm a psychic, so it's pretty easy for yeah, me. Yeah, she is. So this is my only answer. I'm a psychic, and you've been played. <gasps> Boom! What's, What's up, up Red Squad? squad? Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Dominic Rich. I'm your girl Cassidy. I'm your girl Melanie. And today we are going to be reacting to my daughter's 2019-20 English Premier League predictions. Guys, remember a year ago, maybe a little earlier because, you know, we had the coronavirus and yeah. the league stopped and then it continued and now it has just ended and we have all the results for the 2019-20 season. So we are going to go back and revisit you guys's predictions and we're gonna see how many you got right guys remember these girls don't watch football like i do <laughs> so i just made them do it for fun activity because i was a bit too lazy to actually make my <laughs> own predictions and it, it, to be honest I, I i didn't i didn't know what to predict last season to be honest so I just let him do it, and it came up pretty well. And here we are again, one year later, where these girls have grown so much. I was actually trying to have them sit on my lap, both of them one leg each. I couldn't do it again. I'm like, oh man, they, they, they got so big. If you go back and you check the video that I'm going to link in the description box down below, you're going to see how small they were. These <laughs> girls are big. And we're, we're going to get into this, man. We're going to get into this right now. And we're going to start from 20th all the way to 1st. So, Cassidy, you actually predicted Brighton, Hove, and Albion to place 20th. You want to know where Brighton came in? Yeah. Brighton came in 15th. <laughs> so, you weren't too bad in terms of predicting where Brighton came in. They struggled at the back end of the season, but... I have to say that Graham Potter did a fairly good job in his first season as Brighton manager. And he has basically laid down a foundation for something to work on next season. He just have to bring in some, some more quality players like, you know, Leandro Chossard and Neil Mopé. And Brighton could be, who knows, a 10th next season. So for Mel, you did predict Newcastle United to come in 20th. But Newcastle actually did pretty okay this season, and they came in 13th. Oh. So Steve Bruce, after gaining promotion from the championship, first season back in the Premier League, and despite a fail takeover. I don't, I don't know why. Last season I was talking about, like when you guys made the video, I was talking about Newcastle being taken over. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the news because the takeover didn't happen yet. And I just kept saying that they're going to be taken over and they weren't taken over. So that was a big mistake there. I, you know, your dad makes mistakes too. Yeah. A lot of mistakes. Yeah. So, you know, no, no man is perfect. And you guys can learn something from that too. But Newcastle did fairly okay in their comeback season to the Premier League. And Steve Bruce, I think, might be one of the happiest people that... The takeover didn't happen. So 20th for Brighton, 20th for Newcastle. Cassidy, 19th, you predicted Southampton. Mm -hmm. Southampton was actually on course to pick up like a 19th spot. Mm -hmm. But remember the name Ralph Hasenhutl? Remember I told you that last and you guys were laughing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Ralph Hasenhutl and Southampton didn't start well at all. They got battered by a team nine goals to nil. A team oh. called Leicester. The team you were actually struggling to see. But they bounced back. They bounced back really nicely throughout the season. The Southampton board stuck to Hassan Hutto and he rewarded them genu generously. So, you know, you want to know where Southampton plays? Hmm. 11th. Whoa. Exactly. What? So, they did pretty good. And congrats to Southampton for turning around the, the dreadful start to their season. For you, Mel, you actually predicted Leicester City to come in 19th. And that was not a... I told you, that was not a good prediction. Because Leicester City is a team that actually won the Premier League a few seasons ago. So coming in 19th, it was not going to happen at all. You want to know where Leicester City came in? Where? Leicester City came in 5th. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh 
Okay. Leicester coming in fifth is sort of kind of a disappointment to a lot of people too because they were in the top four. They were at third. They were at second for some time as well. And for them to fall off at the back end of the season is a disappointment, especially to the Leicester fans because they have now missed out on Champions League football. But, but, there's some positive news in that. In that they will be playing Europa League next season, which is the baby sister to the Champions League. You see like how she's your baby sister? Yeah. The champ, you're the Champions League, Europa League. Leicester will be in the Europa League next season. So they did good. They did good. They still did well. Moving on to the team that plays 18th. Well, you predicted to come in 18th, Tottenham Hotspur. That was a bad prediction. Very, very bad prediction. And Tottenham actually came in sixth. They weren't doing well. They weren't doing well at all. They were like, they were on course to actually, they were in relegation form because you predicted them to get relegated, which was a very bad prediction. I'm telling you that. I mean, you got to be honest. I can be honest with you. And they were in relegation form. They had a boss and... He got sacked. Sacked meaning, you know, you tell me you're fired. Yeah. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> Pochettino got fired and they were at 14th. So there, there's a manager by the name of Mourinho. He came in and he got them all the way up to 6th. Mm. So I think you were onto something with the, the predicting them to come in 18th. For you, at 18th, you predicted Everton. That was also a bad prediction. Oh, but man. but I have to say though, you were on to something too. Because Everton were also in the same situation like Tottenham where they weren't doing well at all. They had a manager by the name of Marco Silva. He got sacked. Oh. He got sacked. And let me tell you a, a, a nice story about Marco Silva. Mm -hmm. He used to manage a team called Watford, right? Yeah. You guys, you know, familiar with Watford from this. So he was managing Watford and then he was linked to the job at Everton. When he was linked to the job at Everton, he got distracted. He got distracted and he ended up getting fired from Watford. And then a few months later, or uh, almost like maybe a month or two later, he got hired by Everton. He did well, he did okay. And then he lost a job at Everton. So it, it just so, you know what I mean? It's a cutthroat business. It's a cutthroat business. <laughs> it's a cutthroat business. So you wanna know where Everton plays? Everton actually came in 12th. They brought in a man by the name of Carlo Ancelotti, which was a surprise to a lot of people. But Ancelotti, you know, he kept them in the Premier League after their relegation form early on in the season. So Carlo Ancelotti will be looking to work on his platform that he created this season. He definitely has a lot of work to do. <laughs> Next one, 17th. You predicted Arsenal to come in 17th. That was not a good prediction, my Cassidy. <laughs> no, it's not. Why are you looking at me? I have to. I'm, I'm interacting. I'm keeping you. You want me to talk to Cassidy alone? I'm talking to both of y'all so you could stay in here and not, you know, days off over there. You know what I mean? In the corner. So, Arsenal actually plays eighth, Ooh. which is bad. Yeah. That's the worst Arsenal have placed in the last 20 years. Whoa. So, that's horrible. So, maybe you were on to something. You see what I'm saying? You see everything is coming into perspective now. The predictions at first look like really bad predictions, but they're coming into place right now. So Arsenal, they had a manager by the name of Unai Emery. He weren't doing well. He got sacked. He, he's a Spanish guy, and every press conference he come to, he used to say, good evening. <laughs> good evening, good evening. Because, you know, in, in, in Spanish, the V is pronounced like a B. Yeah. So... He said, good evening, and people used to mock him. And maybe maybe the whole good evening thing actually distracted him and basically threw him off his game. He got sacked. Mm -hmm. So they hired a man by the name of Mikel Arteta, who was the Manchester City assistant manager to Pep Guardiola. He went on to, to help them to finish at an eighth place in the, in the table and went on to win the FA Cup. So... Round of applause to Mikel Arteta. Come on, give Mikel Arteta a round of applause, man. Round of applause to Arteta. Pretty good job, you know what I'm saying? So, you were on to something. You predicted at 17th, Arsenal too. Yeah. You know, so that was like a weird one. They both predicted Arsenal at seven, 17th, and they both got, got it wrong. Oh, 
<laughs> you guys, you, you guys did bad. I have to say, you guys did not do well at all, but you tried. You know what, Kat? She got, did way better than me. You think so? Yes. But we'll find out. You'll find out. You guys, you, you guys did similar, you know what I mean? It, it was a lot of similarities between, um, with your predictions. The next team, 16th, you predicted Leicester City. We already spoke about Leicester. They came in fifth. At 16th, Mel predicted Tottenham Hotspur. That's a team we also spoke about. Tottenham came in sixth. What did I say? Leicester came in fifth, right? Yeah. And Tottenham came in sixth. <laughs> Fifteen, Cassidy, you predicted Bournemouth to come in 15th. Mm. Bournemouth got relegated. They came in 18th. <gasps> yeah, they came in 18th. 34 <laughs> points. They got relegated. And at the end of the season, their longtime boss, he parted ways with the club. Eddie Howe. He used to play for the club. He's only 42 years old. Only? He used to, yeah, 42. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty young for a manager, Premier League manager. Uh, he used to play for the team. He retired early. And then he started managing the team. He took them from the fourth division mm -hmm. to the third, yeah. to the second, and then to the first. Kept them up for five years, and now they have parted ways. Sometimes you just have to move on, you know, freshen things up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't do the, the same old, same old all the time, if, especially if you get to a, a, a roadblock. And Bournemouth definitely got to a roadblock, and they weren't good. They weren't good this season. They tried at the end, but overall, it was a poor display by the Cherries. They didn't score enough goals when it mattered. So, they are going down. Mel, at 15th, you pick Burnley. That was not a bad prediction at all. For Burnley, they came in 10th. So, I have to say for Burnley, they don't have a lot of money. They don't have a lot of resources. A lot of players don't really come to the academy like that. They buy these little bits and pieces players from other teams. Mm -hmm. And somehow, they still manage to perform very well. They're a very, very gritty team. You know what I mean? Very gritty, hard to break down. They play ugly, long ball football, and they still make it effective. And they place 10th, which is very, very, very good. They just, look... They just beat, um, they, who did they beat just recently? I think they beat, um, they picked up a draw against Liverpool, I think. And I think they beat, uh, I can't remember who they beat. I think it was Chelsea. I can't remember. But it's not, impo it's not important right now. But they did pretty well. They did pretty well. <coughs> Coming in at 14th, you predicted Sheffield United. You were onto something with the Sheffield. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> but in 14th position, Cassidy picked Sheffield. Sheffield actually placed ninth, mm. which was good for a new team in the Premier League where Chris Wilder and his boys were just a very, very... They, they, made, they made themselves a very tough team to play against, nasty team to play against, and they did pretty well in their first season back in the Premier League after 12 years. So Sheffield have basically built themselves a platform to launch next season. They made some good signings, and I expect them to make some more next season. So round of applause to Sheffield, man. Why, why are you so late? Why are you so late with the round of applause, man? Come on. You guys could do better than that. Okay? okay. When, when I say round of applause, you clap. And you clap right away. Because this, this team, Sheffield, did pretty good. At 14th, Mel, you picked Southampton. We already spoke about Southampton. And you almost got this one right because Southampton plays 11. So you were pretty on point with that one. You know what I'm saying? Remember, this is a warm-up. This is a warm-up right here for when we make the predictions for the 2020-21 season. You guys would have a better idea. And you guys will know, you know, come up with some better predictions. What do you yeah. say? It's a learning process, you know what I mean? There's no pressure here. No pressure. Absolutely no pressure. You guys are un under no pressure. You're sitting here doing this video, you're under no pressure. Say no pressure. No pressure. Exactly. So, 14th, you pick Sheffield. You pick Southampton. 13th, you pick Aston Villa. Aston Villa actually came in 17th. They barely, oh. they barely survived. Mm. Remember, 18th, 19th, and 20th, they get relegated. They go and play in a lower league. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. And then three teams come up to the Premier League. Mm. Oh, they were you understand? <laughs> so the last day it took them to survive. And pretty good job by Dean Smith at the end there. Jack Grealish and his boys fought very, very valiantly. And they survived. And I think they deserve to survive because... Not, not because they spent the money, but Villa is a prestigious club. They have rich history, and I think they deserve to rub shoulders with the big boys for many, many seasons to come. So, 13th, you picked <laughs> Watford. Watford got relegated to. Ooh. They placed 19th, and I'm so glad. I'm happy. If there was a team that I wanted to get relegated so bad, it was Watford. And at first, I didn't feel that way. But Watford, they don't treat their managers well at all. They don't. Mm -hmm. They started with a guy by the name of Javier Gracia. He wasn't doing well. They sacked him. They fired him. They brought back a guy by the name of Kike Flores Sanchez. <laughs> he weren't doing well. Sacked again. Mm -hmm. They brought in another guy by the name of Nigel Pearson. He started well. He was doing good. Looking like he was going to keep them up, then sacked them again. <laughs> so, a lot of managers. Exactly. So that's three managers. So they deserve. They deserve to get relegated and they didn't play well to, to combine with that. And that's the reason why they didn't play well. You can't be changing, changing, changing managers like that and expect the players to stay on course. Relegated Watford. So at 12th, you picked Aston Villa. You, you you didn't predict that they were going to go down, so that's an okay prediction. <laughs> Still, we spoke about Villa already. In 11th, well, in 11th, well, we, 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 we did 12 for you already, right? Yeah. Yeah, Watford was 12. In 11th, you pick Wolves. Wolves actually placed 7th, oh, which wow. is pretty good. Okay. Wolves placed 7th last season. So the platform they built for themselves last season, they took it and they sat right there on their perches and they were like, thou shall not be moved. Okay? <laughs> we are immovable objects. And Wolves did pretty good again this season. I think they actually deserved a spot in Europe, but they missed out on European football this season. Unless... They win the Europa League, a competition they're currently still in. So, congrats to Wolf, man. Their, their manager name is Nuno Espirito Santo. <laughs> Say Nuno Espirito Santo. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say it? No. Nuno Espirito Santo? Nuno Espirito Santo. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny. In 11th place, you pick Brighton. And we already spoke about Brighton. Brighton plays 15th. 10th, Everton. Everton, they plays 12th. So that's not bad. We spoke about Everton already. We touched on that. 10th, you pick Crystal Palace. Palace actually plays 14th. Cassidy actually picked Palace to place a bit higher. Yeah. But Palace, they kind of... They could have got the 10th position that Mel picked them to to come in, but they fell off at the back end. Last season, I think Palace lost. They didn't, back last season, they didn't do well in the back end of the season. And this season, again, they, they just, oh my God, they, they were terrible. They were really bad. And these, Palace is the team that have the manager who's 73 years old. Whoa. Remember I told you about that last year? Yeah. 73 years old. So he is the oldest manager in the Premier League and guess what? Mm -hmm. I think he'll be there next year again. Oh. At yeah. 74. Yeah. So shout outs to the to, to, to the to the man Roy Hodgson, man. You could say Roy Hodgson though, right? Roy Hodgson. Roy Hodgson. Hodgson. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Crystal Palace, you picked to come in at 10th. So we're in the top 10 right now. In ninth position, you picked Manchester United. It would not have been a bad thing if Man United came in ninth because I'm a City fan. Mel is obviously a City <laughs> fan too. Cassidy is a Liverpool fan, and none of us, none of us like Man United. You so don't like her. Stay away. <laughs> none of us like Man United, but they did well. 
they placed third. Oh wow. Which is pretty decent, you know what I mean? Yeah. They brought in and this is the this is what made them place third. They brought in a player by the name of Bruno Fernandes or Bruno Fernandes. He's from Portugal. They brought him from a club by the name of Sporting CP. They paid a lot of money though. Mm. Upwards of 80 million euros he would cost eventually. 80 million. But he was worth the money. He was worth the money because he came in. He just revolutionized things. He got the front three clicking again. A front three that went on to score more goals than Liverpool's front three. Which is insane. Which is insane. So Greenwood, Rashford, Martial... They all had a great season and they have Bruno Fernandes to thank for, you know, their display. <laughs> so, congrats to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Man United. They will be in the Champions League next season for placing third. In ninth position, you picked West Ham United, the Hammers, the Irons. <laughs> but West Ham actually placed 16th. They weren't so good this season. They had a manager by the name of Manuel Pellegrini. He got sacked. They brought in a, a manager by the name of David Moyes. I think Moyes did a pretty okay job. The players backed him. And the signings of Jared Bowen in January, along with Thomas Susek, whose deal is now made permanent. These two guys, along with Mikel Antonio, Declan Rice, Mark Noble, and defenders like Ogbonna <laughs> and... It's a Diop, along with Fabianski, who was injured most of the time, helped them to, 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 to survive, to survive the job because West Ham fans were scared that they were going to go down. So good, good stuff, man. Good stuff by David Moyes there. 15th, 16th. They have to do a lot, of, a lot of work next season to actually place higher in the table. So coming in at 8, Cassidy, you predicted Burnley. We spoke about Burnley already. They place tenth, so that was that was yeah. a good prediction. Yeah. Good prediction for yeah. Cassidy, right there, right? In eighth position, you picked Norwich City. Norwich plays a last twentieth. Wow. No, don't. Oh, wow. you did not predict Norwich to <laughs> to. You predict Norwich to do much better. So be quiet. <laughs> so Norwich City, man, eight. Mel predicted Norwich to place eight. They place twentieth. I personally think that Norwich didn't invest properly in their Premier League campaign. What they did do was renew the contracts of a lot of players. They were rewarding players who helped the team come back up to the Premier League. But Norwich has now become the, the first team to be relegated five times in Premier League history, which is a, 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 another record you want to have. So Danny, and, and you know to make matters worse? This they didn't they didn't fire their manager, oh. so that's a good. I I am actually, I respect the Norwich board and the owners for sticking with Daniel Farker because they know it wasn't his fault. It was their fault for not investing in the club, and I think the reason why they did not invest in the club is because they wanted to just keep that money and pay off death and you know just to just to keep the club financially stable even if they go back down into the, the, the championship. So it's all right, man. They didn't, you know, they started off pretty okay by beating Manchester City. They, 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 they almost picked up a result against Liverpool. Wasn't to be. But they, overall, they were simply not ready yet. They weren't ready. They just weren't ready, you know. So they have to, they, they got to, we have this thing in the islands where we say, Wheel and come again, okay? Norwich City. It's all about, <laughs> about the islands. I am from the islands, okay? But you always talk about it. But that's where I'm from. Rare. That's weird. No, no. Oh. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was oh. Weird. So what did you say? I said that we're not from there. I know, but it's in you. Don't worry about it. You go there one day. You, these girls are yet to go to the islands, but. You went to Jamaica before. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, went Bahamas. And you... Oh, so you've been to the islands. Mm -hmm. uh, you went to Florida. Yes. But you never went to the islands, right? No. Okay, don't worry. Your time will come. <laughs> Let's be patient. Be patient. So, seventh position, you pick Crystal Palace. We touched on Palace already. They didn't do too well. They placed 14th. In seventh, you pick Bournemouth. You, that was a terrible prediction, Mel. Bournemouth got relegated. Offended. You offended? 
<laughs> you shouldn't be though. You, you tried. You tried. In sixth position, you picked West Ham United. We already touched on West Ham. They came in 16th. Yeah. You did get the sixth part right. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For you, in sixth, you predicted Wolves. Give Mel a round of applause. Wolf plays seventh. You almost got it right. You almost got it right. Spoke about Wolves already. Fifth no, position. Too right. Yeah, you, 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 you did okay. At least you, you know who you guys did better than who? me. Because yeah. I didn't nice. do any predictions. Oh. You know, so you know I can't really criticize you too much. Well, I don't take that since you didn't even predict. Predict. Yeah, I, I didn't predict. <laughs> I didn't predict. I just said that. For you, in fifth, you predicted Newcastle. Mm, I don't know. I, I, well, oh. uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, bad, bad prediction. If maybe if they they had gotten that takeover last season, there were talks of it. Maybe they would have finished fifth, but it didn't happen. They languished all the way down at thirteenth. In fifth position, you pick Sheffield. Great prediction. You know why? Because Sheffield actually got up to fifth. Yeah. I think they actually got up to fourth one time. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that. But <laughs> Sheffield did pretty good this season. It's only at the back end of the season they kind of fell off a bit. Mm -hmm. And they were like they were like challenging for these European places. And when I say European places, I mean to play in the big leagues, like to play against teams from another country. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. So... You picked Sheffield, which was a good prediction. It was. It, it turned out at first it was a bad prediction, mm. but you know, in the in, when you really look back at it, yeah. it's a good prediction. Fourth position, however, you picked Norwich City, <laughs> which was a horrible prediction because Norwich plays dead last, and we just spoke about Norwich. This is where it gets fun, and this is where Mel started picking up some points. Fourth position, you picked Man United. And they placed third. So we oh. touched on United already. Third, you picked Chelsea. You know what Chelsea plays? Uh, fourth. Oh. So you did good. Yeah. So when it comes to the top four, these girls actually did pretty good. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, first season under their new boss, Frank Lampard. They started okay. They lost 4 0 to United. That, that wasn't good. And Lampard sort of pulled things back together. And they've been around the top four mark for like the entire season. So that's very, very good for Chelsea, which is a very, very young team. They had a transfer ban a few seasons ago and the ban was lifted in January, but they still didn't bring in players in January. So with them signing the likes of Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner, and there's a lot more signings to come, Chelsea could be... Uh, more of a force to be reckoned with next season. But they do need to change their goalkeeper, though. You know what their goalkeeper is called? What's his name is? What is it? Kepa Aritza Balaga. Get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. So, Chelsea actually, you know, they finished fourth. And they lost the FA Cup final to Arsenal. So, ah, uh, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet end to the season. Qualified for the Champions League, but still went trophyless throughout the season. <laughs> and they all, they also lost the European, um, the UEFA Super Cup to Liverpool. So they could have picked up some trophies, but they, they, they missed out. In third position, for you, you picked the Liverpool. I was wrong. <laughs> Dead wrong. Dead wrong. You want to know where Liverpool plays? Yeah. At the top. That, it, it that no, you did okay. You did okay. You predicted no. them to finish top, top four. They finished at the top of the table. You predicted them to get 96 points and finish first. Mm -hmm. How many points they got? Guess. 96? 99. Ooh. 99. So, round of applause to Liverpool, man. <laughs> round of applause to Liverpool. You know, <laughs> I, I've been talking about Liverpool all season and they have just been absolutely, absolutely phenomenal, spectacular this season because they place first ahead of Man City. And guess what? It's their first title in 30 years. Mm -hmm. 30 years, their first title. Whoa. Insane. 
That's a long time. Insane. 30 years. You guys weren't even in the picture to be born yet <laughs> when Liverpool last won their first title. I was only, what, three like years two. old? <laughs> two, two, three years old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When that happened. Yeah. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal that Liverpool actually picked up their first Premier League title. And when I say Premier League, they used to win things before. Mm -hmm. They had 18 before. Wow. And then it just stopped. You know what I mean? But now they're back to their... Yeah. <laughs> and now back to their winning ways, which is a great thing for Liverpool fans, I have to say. And Cassidy is a, one of the newest Liverpool fans because she chose to support Liverpool last season. I'm not a big fan of that, but I guess I got to live with it, man. I got to live with it. I got to live with it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Well, it's not because she likes them. Why? So why do you think she's supporting them? Because of what she said in the last video. Okay, well, video. you guys... you guys. Just... But she had to make a choice, though. <laughs> she had to make a choice. You, like, you made a choice. You made a choice to support City, right? Yeah. But why you make, why you support City? Because you like it. Exactly. <laughs> That's my girl right here. Wow. You traitor. <laughs> traitor, okay? <laughs> Big traitor. So, you pick Chelsea third. You pick Liverpool third. Second, you pick City. Guess who came second? City! Oh, round of applause to Cassidy. She got that one right. She got that three. one right. She well, got it right. She had the same top three. She got it right. Yep. And I'll talk about City just now. For second, you predicted Chelsea. Chelsea came in fourth. And at number one, you picked Liverpool. So round of applause to Cassidy again. Yes. She got another one right. Yes. She got another one right, and you picked Manchester City to win the league. That was a great prediction, by the way, because we had won the two previous league titles, but we failed to get the three peat. He failed to do the three peat, and I'm, I'm pissed off. Uh, pissed off. And you said not okay? to the table. I'm, I don't care. I'm pissed <laughs> off that we did not place first. But, guys... We lost nine times. Oh. Whoa. Liverpool lost three times. Uh. We lost nine times. Last season, we Why got... Why are you sad? I, I didn't say anything. I'm, <laughs> I'm acting sad, okay? I'm <laughs> Last season, we got 98 points. The previous season, we got 100. This season, we got 82 points. So, oh. it wasn't a good season at all. <laughs> so, yeah. City... They had to get. They gotta get their things, you know, back. To, you gotta get things together. Mm -hmm. We already doing that. We signed a new player today. Today, as we speak, we signed a new player. Me. You know why yeah. we signed a new player? Huh. Because we are ready for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ever, You guys ever heard a song? Ready for them. Ready for them. No. Ready for them. You say ready for them. Da, 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 da. No, you never heard Maybe. that song? I actually made that song up, though. Yeah, yeah. I actually, you like this song good, though? Um, eh. You, <laughs> you want to sing it? Sing, sing it. Ready for them? Come on, come on. <laughs> come on! All right, come on, come on. Uh, ready, ready for, for them. them. Ready for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, City, definitely ready for them. And when I talk about them, I'm talking about Liverpool next season, okay? Because we are coming back to take back what's rightfully ours and the Premier League. <laughs> Title. Him and yeah, yeah. Definitely losing focus now. <laughs> Definitely losing focus. You sit down and relax, okay? <laughs> but guys, that's it, man. That's it. It was a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I actually yeah. took this opportunity to actually do like a season review. So this is also my season review. Will you hear me talking, talking? On the low, I was actually doing a season review. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a little fun activity with my kids too because when I'm down here making videos, they're not here and they, they miss their dads, right? Their dad. And I said dads. <laughs> Am I on? like two, two, two persons? Am I two, pe two, different, two different people? Two people. Am I like, come on. Some, sometimes, you know, I forget. I get all, you know, I talk gibberish sometimes. <laughs> but guys, man, it's been real. Thank you very much for getting... To the end of this video if you're new around here make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> exactly hit the notification bell exactly yeah 
leave a comment in the comment section down below let us know what you think about this video don't forget to head on over to cardsplug.com slash dominic rich fc use the coupon code dominic rich fc to get you how much how much percent off 15 15 percent off your orders all the links will be in the description box down below and from your boy dominic rich cassidy melanie until next time <laughs> peace out rich squad <laughs> <laughs>